all right hey virgo so i'm doing a singles read for you guys and this is going to be um under the intention of new love coming towards you a confirmation or somebody that is new when it comes to you having a relationship with so it could be a confirmation you're going to know this is your read by your energy and your current situation and if there's anything that you need to release um and if that doesn't resonate check your other placements moon rising venus and if you are new welcome to my channel you guys i do hope that you guys will subscribe if you like my energy all right singles let's see what your energy is how are you guys feeling virgo you could be talking to somebody right now you could be talking to somebody after a long period or a long break i just i almost feel like you're in this uh I feel like you're coming out of a break. I feel like you're coming out of a period of rest, rest from relationships. I took a break and now I'm back on the scene. It could be that you're talking to somebody or it could just be that you now have healed enough from something that you feel confident enough to kind of step out on that dating scene. All right. The queen of wands tells us that you're in this um, high vibrational energy. You are courageous. You're confident. Um, you're just exuding independence, a social butterfly even. All right, so you're very determined when it comes to your life right now, very ambitious, um, and I feel like you have a lot of passion inside of you, Virgo. It could be because this person's sparking your interest, in, and that could be your energy just as well on how you feel. All right, but you're ready for whatever is coming through or whatever is about to come through, you're ready. And I feel like if, you're, if you don't have nobody currently, you are ready to receive it. You're ready. Y'all, you're like, I want this conversation. I want to, to Becky, who is this person that you're talking about? I want to talk to him right now. I feel like that's the energy you're in. And that's awesome. That's awesome energy. So let's see if there's anything you need to release in order to make this shit happen. Is there anything you need to release? Dang. I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you are, no. Here's what I'm going to say, Virgo, you guys are the first, um, you're the first group that actually, it really honestly looks like you have dealt with all of the skeletons of your past. Okay. The six of wands says you're, you're, you're feeling uh, victorious. Um, look at this. You have death card coming through. And this tells me that you have transformed and transmuted all your negative energy. Anybody that's ever hurt you, anybody that's ever wounded you, you're like, I forgive you, but you don't need a place in my, my life and my space. Um, this death card coming through really talks about your growth, your rebirth and your transformation. All right, as, as a group, you guys are just like, get, just set the person in front of me already. I already know what I want. Um, it might have taken you a little bit of time to actually heal. So I'm probably talking to somebody who's probably been single. I'm going to say anywhere from a year to four years, five years, maybe longer. But you're like, you're in this energy where I'm going to tell you this. You have no reason to question yourself, who you are or what you're about. I, I'm talking to somebody who just embodies self-love. It's like you know what it is to self-love and you know how um, how much energy and how much attention you attract um, just by by telling yourself, I love you, me. Whoever I'm talking to I, is just like, I, I know who I am. I know my worth and I'm not going to settle ever again. I've healed. I've forgiven. And now I'm rising. You know what I mean? And it, I just feel like you're coming out of this like, I mean... Gosh dang, like I, if, if maybe you have Scorpio in your chart, um, you know, Phoenix rising from the ashes. So who is coming towards you? Who is coming towards you? Ooh, you have a possible Aries coming towards you, a Gemini um, and a Gemini. So here's what I'm going to say. This person coming towards you. All right. This is not somebody from the past. All right, this is not somebody from the past. What I'm going to say is this person has has wore and, and bear many, many scars, all right, on their own pers persona. All right, but what this person um, that's coming towards you is they had to, they, they've done a removal just like you have. They're in this energy to um, remove the cords, the energetic cords of the past so they can call in this new love. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you have... You have your soulmate coming through. The emperor card coming through is a leader. It's a soulmate. It's a home and it's a builder. It's um, comfort. It's security. It's the soulmate dynamic. This is divine masculine coming through. And, and even if you're a male, it's divine feminine or somebody who has um, the... Um, 
has done the work and is balanced in her divine masculine because we all have divine feminine and masculine energies. So if I'm talking to a male, this female coming through um, is really, really balanced. And, and ladies, if I'm talking to you, this guy is, is truly balanced in his divine masculine energy. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have this lover's card coming through. All right. And I just kind of look at this as, as that balance. So this is a true blue soulmate coming through. This is going to be I'm going to pull to see if this is the one, but I mean, I'm already not having any doubts at all. Your energy is just on point. All right. To receive uh, what you're about to receive. And this is a 30 to 60 day intention. Um, so let's just see a little bit more about what this person will be like. So this person could be um, um, the queen of cups is cancer and Gemini. Again, we have an Aquarius coming. To wow. You gotta be joking me. Dang, I'm so happy for you guys. Like truly thrilled. We have Libra Taurus. Look at that. So this person, this is going to be your match. There's going to be no more looking, no more digging. This is like such a fucking beautiful read, Virgo. Like I'm, I wish that everybody could, could have these, these energies coming through. This is awesome. Um, the emperor and the empress. So this is a soul connection that you're not going to have any doubts. Um, possibly you guys could be having a kid, raising kids together, um, or kind of blending families. Um, they could be, um, again, Cancer or Gemini, um, but this is going to be um, your ultimate fulfillment. So the fantasy, the, the person that you've always wanted. Think about who you've always been attracted to, who you always wanted. Um, it's like as if you're walking around through life and you're like, I, I'm going to pick this time who I want. And then boom, the epitome of your perfect person shows up. This person um, is a humanitarian. They're an inspiration, love, home, home comfort, security. Um, new beginnings coming through all the way around. Somebody who is compassionate, caring. Somebody who knows the value of self-love and self-care. All right. It's, and, uh, you know, worse comes to worse. They could be a little bit codependent or just need a little bit more of your attention than what you're used to giving. But I feel like that's going to be um, your I feel like that's more of a I'll welcome that if that's all the bad qualities that you have. You know what I mean? I don't see them being particularly clingy, but I just feel like they might need a little bit more of your attention, at least when you guys first start out, because um, I feel like I'm talking to two people who have been single for a very, very, very long time. So let's see how you guys will meet. So it could be at some sort of, uh, it, it could be centered around work, entrepreneurs. So I'm thinking business. It could be um, that you meet around work. Um, this is an entrepreneur. It could be through a mutual buddy or a friend. All right. It could be through a Sagittarius or a Scorpio that you meet this person. All right. I feel the King of Wands is going to be somebody who's uh, pretty much business oriented. So it could be somebody that's centered or focused around work, but it could be a mutual friend too. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this is a human energy coming through. And then we have contracts, partnerships, um, and success kind of, you know, in that, that situation. And, um, what I feel is basically, I, I'm, I keep thinking of work, something, something to do with work, something around work. All right. Um, if it's not around work, I feel like it's through a friendship, um, or a mutual, um, a mutual person. It could be at somebody's wedding, a get together or something like that. But I feel like it's because of somebody that you guys will meet or at a, a function that you guys both know one person. All right. But, um, I, I can't help but feel like it's going to be work related, but regardless, um, you you, everything is just going to take off. Everything is going to be moving forward. Uh, and I, I feel like it's going to be moving pretty fast once you guys, um, um, get that feeling in your stomach that you know that this is your person. I feel like everything is just going to, there's going to be no doubts. The chariot card too is telling you that this is going to be a protected, um, relationship. So when you guys navigate through life, when you move through life, um, I feel the union is going to be protected by your guys' angels and spirit guides. So let's see what your advice is while you're not waiting, but waiting for this beautiful, relationship to arrive look at that um what spirit's saying is your wish is coming through everything that you've worked hard for when it comes to yourself your everything that you've done to, to truly um it's this is like a, a transformation coming through here and everything that you've done is is um, over it's it's paying off all right faith card is having faith in in your surroundings having faith in the universe your yang your yin is coming all right so continue to support love care and nurture yourself while this is all trying to take place and unfold for you all right virgo um beautiful things happening here so let's see what this future soul connection what let's see this is going to be messages from either this person or your spirit guides 
So we have the love that emanates from a beloved's from my beloved's heart is light that stems from the mind of the God goddess. Through each other, we become one. I give thanks for the endless blessing that is you. And if any of you guys have wondered if you're on a twin journey here, here's your confirmation. All right. And then we have you are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow in love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past. Forgive anything that needs forgiving. And those of you who have already transmuted that negative energy, you know this is for you. Um, so let's see what names or what initials come through. And this could be yours or this person's. Um, it could be a city. It could be somewhere where you live. So just pay attention to the um, tiles. We have J-I. We have B and L. F U. X, K, and C. All right, Virgo, I am going to leave this here. I really hope that you guys will let me know who I'm talking to because this is like, this is probably one of the best reads that I've done uh, for the single collective. All right, you guys, I'm leaving it here. Take care.